Uji, you're in Gambia um, for a scouting mission. Tell us about your uh, purpose here for at least um, another my, time in Gambia. Yeah, my idea is to change the life of uh, your kids. I'm here for this reason uh, because uh, I made for Musaparo, for Ibrahim Akoli, for Lamin Jallo, and Aliso. And this is my my dream. And uh, I, I wanna that uh, this will be done. Okay. What attracts you to Gambia? Um, because you've seen lots of uh, different players in other parts of the world. Yeah, Why Gambia? I was in, in Ghana, in Senegal, uh, but I, I love Gambia because uh, players here, uh, they born fast. They are like rabbit. <laughs> okay. Very, very fast. Okay. And so, they, in, our, in our football now, more than 50% is uh, if you are fast or not. And you cannot learn this. You can learn tactic, tactic, but you cannot learn to be fast. Okay. And here uh, there are a lot of people. They are all fast. Okay. I want to tell you something. Uh, when I come here, maybe six, seven years ago, with one scout from Kievo Verona, he told me, we, we have to change our way to work. We have to bring some uh, uh, boys and bring boys to Italy and make pregnant uh, our girls. <laughs> and so we will, we, we will have a big, a big race yes. for football. football. <laughs> That's it. Okay. So is this a, another way of making another Musa Baro? Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. I hope to find. Uh, I, don't, I don't need to find Musa Baro. <laughs> Because uh, Musabaro is Musabaro, you cannot uh, make a copy, you know? Yes. But uh, another brilliant player like him, like Polly, so uh, Jalo. Okay. This is the future, no? Okay. At least for the first 20 minutes or so, you've watched one of the games and then... The yes, I watched the uh, game and I like uh, one or two players, player. so... Okay. It starts good today. Today, okay. All right, thank you very much for your time. No problem. Thank bye you. Bye. All right, thank you. Right. So you set, guys. Okay. Set, guys. Yeah. Okay. The chairman of Team Resto Confidence, Sadibu Kamoso. Um, you're here today. It's a uh, a scouting football, we're seeing young talented footballers showcasing their talent and there are some agents and scouts from um, parts of Europe here. Um, tell us your connection with this and how is it going to help Gambia football? Thank you, Gajana. This is something that is very remarkable. Uh, Luigi and I started working together some seven, eight years ago when he saw some of these players whilst he was abroad. I think the first player he took out of the Gambia was Ali Sow. And then from Ali Sow, then he came and took Lamin Jalo, Yusuf Bob and Mubu Baji. Uh, Yusuf Bob and Mubu Baji from Hox, Lamin Jalo was from where the Banju. That same time that he came, he saw Musa Baro, Ibrahim Akoli and Mubu Lamin Baji. They call him Pabi. He used to be with Real de Banju. From the time he started coming, we, you know, we struck a very strong relationship and a very strong bond because what he would ask me is to look for kids that are talented. And he has a very strong connection with Gambia because he told me the first time I came, I thought, where was I? Because Gambia has so much talent because your kids are just born with talent. And that has been the thing that has been drawing him, you know, to the Gambia. And this time around, he thought, you know, we needed to expand our horizon and then we invited some people from Tokyo, we have two people from Fanabache and Boros, who's also an agent from Fanabache, alongside the guys from Italy, from Fresenone, who are here to do our scouting. So we've invited different kids and different clubs to come and showcase their talent. So the kids showcase their talent and they choose who they want and then they take them. I'm sorry, but this gives us um, pressure when it comes to both the football officials and the people who should make sure that the infrastructure is good for the footballers because there's a pool of talent but helping them get to the next level to realize their potential it is something else certainly i think there should be a lot more commitment when it comes to developing these kids because i mean what i always say is the first priority is the kids interest taking them out the more players we have out there the better for us because if you look at the afcon this um, this past afcon we have a lot of international players and that helps us because they know they don't have complex issues. So for me, I believe the more kids we take out there, the better for us. Because when, when these kids are out there, you know, they don't have those complex issues. They get exposed to all these inner intricacies of how, you know, professional football is done. 
So I believe, you know, the future is bright, but let us all put our heads together, you know, and try to look at the interests of the kids. Because once you take these kids out there, there will be a time when all these clubs will benefit. Because our league is still amateur. I mean, the price you buy a player in an amateur league and in a professional league is different. But, you know, inviting more of these talents, I've seen BSD, you know, TMT, and all these people are bringing in fortune. They're all bringing scouts. I think the more scouts we bring, the better for us. And then we'll have a lot of kids out there and the future will be bright for us. Um, with these sort of things happening, um, are you hopeful that in the next few years, if heads are put together, our football can move to the next level? Certainly, certainly. It's a, it's a matter of us working collectively because when we put our heads together, we're able to do things. I mean, there are times for when people have divergent views, but there are times when we have, you know, a united purpose. And that is this, because giving these kids, a, you know, the opportunity to come and showcase their talent. I'm not the one who's going to be signed, neither you. It is the kids that are going to be signed and I don't get paid. It is the clubs that get paid. So obviously, if we put our heads together and have a united focus, I believe the future is bright. And that would help us to get a lot more players that are playing internationally. It would even help develop the economy. Because if I tell you what some of these foreign players are sending in back in terms of remittances and properties they're buying, it is good for us. And it is changing the lives of parents. And I tell the kids, this is something that can change your life overnight. This is something that can change the life of your families overnight. So your interest should be this and you should take this as something that can change your life forever so you take it as a profession one last more question um talking about musa baro is a gambian professional footballer who plays in italy of course um you were involved you know how it all works out there um, how does this make you feel looking back i mean i cannot be more prouder than i am because i remember the first time they saw musa and luigi was like but this guy is silly how is he kicking this ball like that i'm like i mean take him to Italy and give him enough pasta, you'll see the difference. And then when he took him there, they went, I remember the first time they just went for three months and then he came back and he was like, oh yeah, you said. So um, I cannot be more proud to see them going from strength to strength. And the, most of the players that I've helped um, in terms of their transfer, I try to play a part in their lives, helping them in terms of buying properties here and managing their finances and stuff like that. So it also helps because I keep tabs on them. Don't do this, get involved in that. You know, I keep tabs on them to follow, to see whether they're going further. Because one thing we don't understand is some of these players tend to be so relaxed at a very early age. I mean, somebody who's not making enough money here and goes and starts getting millions and thinks, oh, that's the end of it. So we have to be pushing. And that involves you know, us, the parents, the journalists, you know, following them and ensuring they're doing this. Because sometimes these kids are also under pressure from the family. I need you to do this when they have not even settled. We have other kids that are there. They're playing Usman Gomez was from Ox. You know, he's, he's playing in Serie C in, in Italy. Hopefully, in the next you know year or so, he would be also playing top flight. So I am I'm proud and I'm happy that these things are happening. And I you know wish all these kids the best because we have over 18 teams that are coming to these trials now against Friday. So hopefully, we'll have five, six players because we have six people here this time around. And I'm sure something positive, positive will come out. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank